Hey, how's it going guys? This is Eli, the real estate guy. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about why you should get a property inspection before you actually close on a property. All right, now, I want you guys to really think about this. You're investing in a property, okay? Um, you see this property, you ran the numbers from what you saw, right? You, you called up the seller, uh, you set an appointment, you went out to the property, you, you, know, you got out your pad, you wrote down uh, the repairs that are needed, you have your scope. You're excited about the property. Oh man, based on this, we should be making about $35,000, $40,000 on this house. So you're super excited, okay? Now, and I'm just gonna run through this scenario for you, all right? You don't get a property inspection, all right? You go to your lender, all right, and uh, you're, you tell your lender, hey, these are the repairs that are gonna happen. Uh, you know, we're, we're super excited. Now, most likely they're gonna have an inspection happen. Well, let's just say they let it slide. They're like, you know what? Uh, you've done enough deals uh, with us, or you know what? Uh, we're just gonna let this one slide. Let's, let's just go through with it. Like, let's just say they're reckless like that, right? And they don't get an inspection done. All right, now you get the home and you start repairs. You close, you close money, you, you spent money on this property, you close. Now, as you start repairs, as your contractors come in because you got your bid and maybe you didn't mention certain things because you didn't know, you didn't do a, you didn't do a thorough inspection. And so once the contractors start doing work, they're like, oh, you're gonna have to switch out the electrical panel. Oh you're gonna have to rewire the house. Oh, and that's gonna uh, cause us to have to dig into some walls uh, and to some ceilings uh, to run this new wire. Oh, you're gonna need all new outlets. Oh, uh, looks like you're gonna need all new plumbing. Oh, looks like you're gonna need a new AC. Oh, it looks like in this back room there's a foundation issue. All of a sudden, you're supposed to make 30 or 40,000, and all of a sudden, now you're down you're, you're gonna lose 20,000 on this. And now you're trying to mitigate, okay, now let me gauge how much I'm gonna lose because I can't afford to lose too much, but now I'm gonna lose $20,000 on this flip, right? That's what happens if you don't do a proper uh, property inspection, right? So this is the way that a scenario should go. You get a property on a contract, you've already scoped it out, you have your, your work and you're excited, all right? Oh, I'm gonna make 30 to $40,000 on this flip. All right, next, you get your inspector out there. The inspector goes out there and he does a thorough examination. Up, uh, electrical panel needs to be changed. Up, uh, you're probably gonna need a new uh, wire. Up, uh, there's no ground here. The house is uh, built in the 50s. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need whole new plumbing here because all this is whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a foundation issue in the back. You probably can't see it, but because I'm a professional, I can see that there's foundational issues here uh, and that's gonna uh, probably run you about five, $10,000. Uh, you got this issue, you got that issue. Boom, 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 boom. Now, you can make that decision and go back to the seller and say, hey, these are my findings and with this information, I would like to give this offer, all right, and say, hey, this is what I'd like the reduction to be. Or, if they don't agree, or you could just decide, yeah, this is well beyond what we wanted to do as far as repairs and now that we have that information now you can back out now how can you back out of these contracts if you have an option fee or right, if you have an option period with an option fee then you can write what your days are right how many days do you have in order to do your due diligence and actually examine the property once that property is thoroughly examined Right, then you can make that determination that this is still a good deal. Now there's times to where it's like, oh, this one outlet doesn't work. It's like, all right, whatever, we can fix that. Uh, it looks like, you know, uh, there's a crack uh, that's uh, on one of the windows. It's like, okay, cool, we can fix that. Sometimes it's little things like that and you can still make it work. But when the world is over, whenever you get that report back, it's much better to be able to just spend that $700 that you pay the inspector, right? Five to $700, whatever it is, and get that report than to lose $20,000 because you're like, oh, I don't want to spend this extra $700 because why do that? I saw the house. I saw the house. I know what it looks like. I know what repairs are needed. I have eyes. I'm a professional. I've done, I've done X amount of flips. I know. Regardless of if you've done a million flips, get an inspector out there to actually go and take a look at that house to determine what repairs are actually needed so that you're not losing money on the back end. I'm telling you right now, uh, I luckily, every flip that we've done, we get an inspector out there so that they can let us know what repairs are actually needed so that we're not just 
uh, try to mitigate how much money we're going to lose, right? That's not, that's not the conversation you want to have. You don't want to be talking about, dang, okay, well, if we do this, we'll only lose 20000 But if we do the other thing, we only lose 30000 So let's just do this and just basically put some tape on it and hopefully somebody buys it. What you want to be talking about is, okay, we got 10 offers. This person offered 10000 over. This person offered 20000 over, right? And now we're going to make 30, but now we're going to make 40. We're going to make 50. That's the type of conversation you want to have. And you can have those conversations if you get an inspector out there first to determine if the deal that you're even getting makes sense or not. All right. So, hey, with that being said, thank you all so much for uh, liking this video uh, and be sure you like this video. Go ahead and, you know, give that that like button a, a high five. All right. And I, I think that subscribe button uh, was talking a little crap to you. If you want to go ahead and punch the subscribe button in the face, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm sorry for being a little uh, <laughs> uh, aggressive on that. But hey, thank you all so much for watching this video. And uh, again, like this video, subscribe. Uh, and I look forward to you all getting your first deal. And I'm saying this because I've heard too many horror stories of people that just did not want to pay the extra 500 bucks for an inspector. Uh, and it cost them in the end. So uh, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, and I cannot wait for you all to get your first deal. Y'all take care.